<laughs> yeah, 15 say, bucks or something. Oh, I'm so sick of my phone. It rings like five or six times a day. Yeah. Sometimes right. you just got to answer and just mess with them. No, I don't even do that. <laughs> I don't have the energy for that, Paul. <laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. It's 7, nearly 7.15. Got a beautiful start, lots of sunshine, blue sky, and that's what we'll be looking at through today with just some high clouds here and there. 82 for your high. And the low humidity is around, so it's going to be another good one. And as you head out the door, it still feels pretty comfortable out there. We got 50s and even 60s to 60 in Thibodeau, 66 at the airport, 57 for your uh, friends over there in Hancock County and Bay St. Louis. Uh, so today, what we're going to be looking at, an easterly wind this morning will switch more out of the southeast this afternoon and evening, uh, but that moisture is not going to be super fast to return. So yes, we're getting that return flow, uh, but you're not really going to notice the humidity today. And even tomorrow with the southeast wind, the humidity, the dew point, is we're going to remain fairly comfortable in the low 60s. Now by Sunday night and Monday, we'll have enough of that moisture moving on in. You're going to notice it's going to be more humid and we set up into a very humid pattern as we go throughout the next week or so and probably beyond that. It's getting to that time of year where these kind of nice cool fronts that dry us out for a couple days, they're going to start becoming rare or more rare as we go into the summer months. So a chance for rain zero today and tomorrow. But look at this. We settle into a stormy pattern next week. I do think we'll see a few showers and storms Monday, but then uh, the rain chances will in really increase as we get closer to the middle of the week as a storm system out west starts to build on in. So this is Monday. Here's the storm system. Kind of see that dip there. That's a trough and anywhere near that trough and east of it, you're going to see storms. So as long as that is to our west, we're going to start to see the chance for rain increase. And as it gets closer to us, we'll see the chance of rain increase. Uh, so right now what it looks like is yes, it'll stay mainly off to our west for the most part, which means that's where the heaviest rain will be, but we'll be close enough to where we feel some influence uh, throughout the work week. It will start to lift up out of the area by Thursday and Friday, but we're going to stay pretty warm and there is going to be the chance for showers and uh, thunderstorms. So kind of the setup with this right now is going to be for the heaviest rain and the more persistent heavy rain going to be off towards Texas and Oklahoma. That's where they're going to be closer to the storm system, but we're enough on the edge. We'll have enough instability. We'll have enough moisture out there to get some showers and storms each day. Right now, it doesn't look like a huge flooding threat. I think this will be mainly in this area, but it is something, you know, we're looking at a stormy week. By the way, we're officially two weeks away from the start of hurricane season. Today, May 15th, the National Hurricane Center has now started issuing their daily outlooks for the tropics. They're starting two weeks earlier this year because we've seen early season storms really over the past about five, seven years, uh, start before June 1st. So you can see there's nothing going on out there. We are not expecting any development right now for the next five days. Now there's a lot of talk on social media. There is every single year and it's the notorious GFS model. Of course, it's spinning something up out there. 9, 10, 11 days out. That's a long time in the weather world, right? So there's nothing to worry about at this point. And I'll tell you right now, the chance that we ever do get a st storm before the beginning of hurricane season is actually very rare. You can see there, this is every recent storm before June 1st. There's only ever been one in the Gulf of Mexico. It was Alberto in 2018. And at that, it was a weak system that moved off towards Florida. So we watch models all the time, but there's nothing to worry about out there right now. We'll keep you in tune and let you know if anything changes. But right now, looking good. Great weather this weekend. Enjoy it. Next week, the storms return.